Hey guys, it's me, Goodwill Hunter, and we are back on a Friday. Haven't been doing this for uh, successfully that much this week, so hopefully it's Friday. I can hit up a couple more. I'm up here, Johns Creek, at my favorite Goodwill. Hopefully I can find, I don't know, some controllers, maybe some games. Maybe they have some high-end stereo equipment that I can flip. But we won't know, folks, until we get inside. So without further ado, let's head on in. Well, guys, we did not find shit in that Goodwill, and I just went back to work, and I uh, continued my job. But it is Friday, so I left work early. We're at another Goodwill right here in Buford. This one, again, it's hit or miss. It's good for cables. They're a dollar, and uh, games, they usually do have a pretty good selection. So let's see if we can't find any that are half price because it is yellow, and there was a lot of games, I think, that were in there that were yellow. But again, it's later on in the day, so who knows what we can find, but fingers crossed.
All right, guys, well, we're out of that Goodwill, and I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, they had a very large selection of video games uh, this time around. Unfortunately, it was quantity over quality. Uh, you'll see that uh, from the footage, yes, Josh, I got you some goddamn in-store footage for once. I'll do more of it, but it wasn't really as awkward as it was uh, when there's a lot of people in the store. But anyways, they had a huge stack of DS games, but they were just crap DS games. I, I was hopeful there was like a Mario game, and there probably was at one point, who knows. Um, but it was mostly very uh, friendly Barbie dogs, all that crap. So I passed on that, and then you saw all the games that I went through. Uh, I was able to score on two games, two copies of Wii Sports Resort. Um, they had a, a Wii Sports, just a regular one, but it didn't have the case, and I only saw it because this particular Goodwill keeps all their games in a little binder, so you bring the case up, they find it in the binder, and uh, I don't I don't know what I'm going to do because they only go for maybe like 10 to 15 on eBay for the cardboard ones, um, and I bet the trade-in value is probably what I paid for uh, at my retro store, so I may just keep them or just try to sell them. I could probably make $15 profit by selling both of them, but again... Who knows, maybe I'll just keep it, bundle it with some Wii's that I have, sell those on Craigslist. But we're out of Valley Village right now. I'm sitting out in the parking lot talking to y'all. And uh, we're going to head on in, see what we can find. And hopefully we got some cables, maybe another janky Xbox or Dreamcast. So let's head on in and see what we can find. Well, I don't know what happened there. We had some, uh, looks like I ran out of space on my phone, so it just shut off. So, as I was saying, it's now Saturday, um, early morning. This thing, not sure what it was, again, not sure where it even stopped recording, so we're just going to go through it again. This thing opens up, and then there's like this thing. I don't know what it does. Do you know what it does? Do you even know what this is? I don't even know what this is. Wee, wee, wee. Um, but it looks like it was like a little playset for Matchbox cars. Again, it was only, I think he charged me 60 cents for it. So I figured, I don't know, old school Matchbox, maybe someone is looking for it. I don't know. It's like the bridge is a little, little dinged up, but hey, for 60 cents, I thought it was pretty cool. I might just put a car in it and give it to a kid. I also found this for 60 cents again. Uh, I have a handheld one of these. What it does is, whoop, well, it has these little discs, all right? You put them in. See your prayers, punk. So, yeah, that's pretty cool for 60 cents. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll paint it or something, use it for a costume. I don't know. I, I just like them, they're pretty cool. But the big score that I found there at the Value Village uh, was actually this. I always see racing wheels, but 
when they're made by my favorite company, Logitech, I always, uh, I always kind of inspect a little bit further. So this one is called a Momo Racing Logitech. Um, it's force feedback. It's got a little shift. It's actually two buttons. Uh, it's got these buttons right here. Uh, and it has the, what do you call them? Like gear shifts, I don't know. They're just more buttons. Um, so I found this, it was only, I don't know if you can see that. It was only four bucks, all right. Uses USB. And then right near it, I saw that they had the pedals, two bucks. Again, it's got his own little connection that plugs in the front. Uh, so the pedals were two, the main unit was four, uh, and it also did, it came with the AC, the Logitech branded one. Unfortunately, for some reason, it was cut. You probably can't see that, but I've since, just to test it, spliced another uh, end to it so I could actually test it. It does work, um, but I think I might have to order an official one because the wires are a lot thinner on the mine. Uh, the original power supply is a 24 volt. I cut this off of a nine volt. So I don't know if the current, uh, you know, I don't want to burn someone's house down like years down the road, but I'm sure it'll be safe. Uh, but just testing this thing, it's kind of funny cause it actually does do force feedback. So, you know, you'll press, uh, like this button and on the test, it'll say blown tire. And it's like, boom, 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 boom. So it's actually pretty funny. I want, I want to see what I can play with it. Um, if you guys know of any good racing games that I can test this out on, please let me know. Because uh, I'd really like to test it. I would like to have tested it in MAME, but I don't know if that'll work for like... Uh, what would I want to test? Like... Um, what's that one? Outrun. That would have been fun. Maybe Need for Speed. I don't know. Again, I don't know if I'm going to sell it or keep it. These go for between 50 and 60 online. So for $6, it's a pretty good score. So the last stop I went to was my local retro store, and apparently they were having a sale that I wasn't aware of. I guess they posted it on their Facebook page, and I didn't check Facebook that day, but, you know, I was there in the store. So it was buy two games up to $14.99 and below, and you get three games up to $14.99 and below for free. So buy two, get three free. That was a pretty good deal. So it took me a while to go through the store and find exactly what I wanted. Uh, but for a grand total, I traded in those two, um, what do you mean, what should I call it? The Wii Sport Resorts. So I got my money back out of those. He gave me, I think, $11 store credit. So whatever, it, you know, from one store to his store, it looks good. I'm trading, I'm getting. So for, I think it paid 20 bucks, I got these five games, which, I would like to add to my collection. Uh, the first game I picked up was a game that I really enjoyed and actually did play through. It is uh, Mirror's Edge on the Xbox 360. I'm not sure if this ever... Did this ever come out on the PlayStation 3? It probably did, right? Yeah. I don't think it was an Xbox 360 exclusive. I remember this game when it was $8, and now it's slowly been going back up. Um, and with the coming release of the second in the series, I'm sure it's going to drive the price up a little bit more. So just to add this, um, again, I actually really enjoyed playing this game. It's got really good, you know, parkour, but just the environment and it just very minimalistic, but also very stylistic. So really good game. I uh, really recommend it. Had this game, or, or have this game on the PlayStation 3, but he had it on the PlayStation 4 and for $14.99. I decided I'd just pick it up. It's uh, Tomb Raider, the definitive edition for the PlayStation 4. So for $14.99, he was even surprised, but um, I had to go through all the games. But I've heard really good things about this. Still have never played my copy of the PlayStation 3 version. So it looks like I'll have to get rid of that and maybe play this. I don't know. I really want to play the second one, but I guess that's not going to come out until later on this year for Christmas. So that should be fun. I've heard really good stuff about that one. PSP games. Uh, one game I did not have, and I don't know if I've seen any footage of it, but it was an Atlas game, so it's called Steamboat, Steambot Chronicles Battle Tournament. So I don't know if it's an offshot. I think this game was on, like, the Saturn or the Dreamcast or something like, some funky system. Maybe the PlayStation 2? I don't know. 
but it looked fun again atlas and for $14.95 i didn't have it added to the collection and then guilty pleasures as of late i've been picking up a lot of uh boxed games only because i don't i can't reproduce boxed games i can reproduce them on a rom cart or burn them to a disc but you can't make well, I guess I could make cardboard boxes and manuals and all that, but it would cost me thousands. So I picked up two boxed Nintendo games. First one I picked up was Mission Impossible. This is one of the, you can see that Ultra down here, Ultra, which I believe was the um, what, an offshot of Konami to get around the Monopoly or not the Monopoly, but Nintendo had very strict rules about how many games a publisher could come out with in a year. Uh, back in the day. So to get around that, they what they would typically do is either form a different company and have them, them they could then produce other games that, you know, obviously the parent company had the rights to or had interest in or would make a profit from. And uh, yeah, a lot of companies did that. So this is one of them, the Ultra brand, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game that was produced was an Ultra brand. Roller Games was Ultra. There's a lot of games that Konami just I mean, they, they weren't that bad either. This one isn't that bad uh, as far as a game. It's hard, but it's not uh, it's not bad. So complete with all the marketing promo crap in it, registration cards. So excited to add that. And another one that I didn't have, and you know, whatever. I like the one on the Super Nintendo. It's uh, Vegas Dream. This one's for the Nintendo. You can see it's made by HAL Interactive or HAL America. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's just like a casino game, but you have a lot of, um, you'll be playing slots, and I think if it's anything like, I don't remember playing this on the Nintendo, but if it's anything like uh, the one for the Super Nintendo, randomly people will come up to you and say they need money, or would you like to buy something, and sometimes it'll be like a stolen watch, or they'll reward you, they'll give you like a, you know, thousand dollars because you gave them ten dollars and they won a buttload of money. So again, complete does not have the styrofoam though. Um, but again, this one was thirteen ninety nine, and uh, this one was twelve ninety nine. So two more boxed games. Again, I got all five of these games for literally twenty bucks. So that's a really good deal. I'm hoping he has it again today because I might actually go back and see about buying some more. But I think I pretty much bought everything that I wanted um, that I didn't have in the collection. So yeah. Really good deal. So, as always, guys, that'll do it for what I picked up on Friday and the other days that I struck out on. Uh, and I'll try to edit this video and get it out today. So, without further ado, make sure you leave a comment below. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Um, throw some comments about whether or not you like hot dogs or hamburgers. I, myself, am partial to just a plain hamburger but I do like a hot dog if it's during the summer with ketchup and a mustard. Not, oh, you can't put ketchup on a hot dog. I don't give a fuck. And I also like to put nacho cheese, chili, onions, and jalapenos. It's muy bueno. So, guys, make sure to stick around because there's more content coming your way. So remember, guys, keep up the thrift, and I'll thrift with you later. Hey, guys. Retro Rewinder here coming at you with another pickup video. Um, first off, the noise that you're hearing over there is my daughter. She's sitting in her swing, so that's going to be going the whole time. Sorry if that gets on anybody's nerves, but if it does, just turn off this video. I just want to jump straight into this because i got a table full of stuff here. Um, the first thing I have here is a Dazzle. I picked this up because my Elgato will not capture old game footage because I do not have the adapter for um, AV cords. 